That's the clown here for clown maths. Today we're going to be looking at again fractions of a circle, but this time the area of a sector instead of the arc length of a sector. Let's go straight into this with a little activity that you can try. So the first activity says try this. These circles are all different sizes and are not drawn to scale. So although they look the same size, they are not the same size. Which circle would have the biggest area shaded? I'll give you a little clue for this. You work out the area of the bits, but leave your answer in terms of pi because it will be quicker. Pause the video here and come back when you are done. Okay, so let's hopefully try that and remind yourself of how to find the area of a circle. So for the first one, you've got pi r squared, remember. So that's going to be pi times 2 squared, which is 4 pi. 2 twos is 4 centimetres squared for your units. Let's look at the next one though. The next one's obviously half a circle, so I'm going to have to do a half of pi r squared, which is a half times pi times 4 squared, which is a half times pi times 16. Half of 16 is 8, so it's 8 pi centimetres squared. So without actually working that out as a number, 8 times pi, you can see that 8 pi is bigger than 4 pi. So already we're, we've got a clear winner in the middle one. Second one, sorry, not the middle one. Let's look at the third one, a little bit trickier. If you look at the third one and count the segments, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So two of those is shaded in, so that's a quarter of the circle. So I'm going to have to do a quarter pi r squared. So that's a quarter times pi times 8 squared, that's a quarter times pi times 64. A quarter of 64 is 16, so that's 16 pi centimetres squared. Third one is double the size of the second one. Let's look at the last one, you should be seeing a pattern here. And predict with a radius of 16 centimetres, since we're squaring it, the last one's the biggest one. Okay, let's have a look. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit to this one. I've got eight segments, so that's an eighth of pi r squared. That's an eighth times pi times 16 squared. 16 squared is 256, so it's an eighth times pi times 256. An eighth of 256 is 32, so that's 32 pi centimeters squared which is even bigger. So the biggest one is actually this one here because it isn't drawn to scale. And it, that little activity should have shown you that when you square a number, it gets a lot bigger, even though you're going to half it. Okay. Can you find, can you find the area of the shaded sector to two decimal places? Well, if you remember from when we did arc length, it was a fraction of a circle. To work out that fraction, we did the angle over 360, because it's 360 degrees in a circle. We just do exactly the same thing to get the fraction, and it's just a fraction of the area, which is pi r squared. So for the first one, our fraction is just 72 out of 360. Now we can simplify that. 236 is a 72, so that's 2 tenths, which is a fifth. And you can take your time simplifying that, and you'd realise that that's a fifth of a circle. 5 72s make 360. So the area is just a fifth of pi r squared. So that's a fifth times pi times 5 squared. Now, fifth at the end, don't do a fifth of five and then square, the, square it, bid mass, five squared first. So that is equal to a fifth times pi times 25, which is five pi centimetres squared, which, since I've done all that work, we could leave an answer. If it was a non-calculator question, it's just five pi centimetres squared. Or if it's a calculator question, go ahead and do five times pi, and you'll get an answer of about 15.5, 15.7, something like that. Okay. Okay, let's look at the second one. So the second one, our fraction again comes into play, but our fraction is just 113. 
out of 360. Now we can't really simplify that very well, so using a calculator we can do the area is 113 360ths, 113 360 times pi r squared, which is 113 360 times pi times 5 squared, and this is where a calculator then becomes very handy. So using a calculator, I've got 113 divided by 360 times pi, I've not got a pi button, so it's 3.14, times 5, times 5 again, 5 squared, and you get your answer straight out, 24.64 centimetres squared. That really is as easy as that, so if you're using a non-calculator, there's, there's the method, and then there's the calculator method. It's always exactly the same each time. Let's look at a few more. Find the area of these sectors to two decimal places. So I'll do the first one. Refraction always comes first. 102 out of 360. Since the question's asked me to do it to two decimal places, I know that I'm going to need to use a calculator, so there's no point simplifying that fraction. Just giving yourself extra work. So I'll go straight into the area. The area is the fraction of the circle, 102 out of 360 times pi times 6 squared, pi r squared, r is 6, get a calculator, 102 divided by 360 times pi, which is 3.14, times 6, times 6 again, 32.027, so 3 centimetres squared if it's in centimetres. I'll write centimetres actually for these. Okay, let's look at the second one. I'll use a different colour pen so we don't get confused. So our fraction for the second one, always start by the fraction. It's 220 out of 360. So our area is 220 360 times pi times 8 squared. 8 squared. So I've got 220 divided by 360 times pi times 8 times 8. 112, sorry, 122.808, one, two, two, zero, eight, so 81 eight, centimetres squared. Let's look at a few examples where you have to leave it in exact form or leave it as in terms of pi, so without using a calculator in other words. So the first one, it's a right angle, so it's a quarter of a circle, 90 out of 360. So the area is just one quarter times pi times 12 squared. No calculator, a quarter times pi times 144, no calculator, 4 144, if you're not sure, 4 into 14 is 3, with 2 left over, so it's 4 into 24 now, which is 6, so I've got 36 pi centimetres squared. There you go, exact form, and unexact when you do 36 times pi, because you then end up rounding your answer. Okay, the second one, it should be clear, that the sector is three quarters because you've got 90 degrees here which leaves 270 here which is three quarters of a circle okay so we've got our area equals three quarters times pi times eight squared so that's three quarters times pi times 64 so remember, a fraction of an amount, we divide by the bottom, then times by the top. So 4 into 64 is 16. 3 times 16 is 48. So it's 48 pi centimetres squared. Again, there is an exact formula in terms of pi. So your independent task, which you can pause the video here to try. Question 1. If the radius of the full circle is 12, so for each of these questions it's 12 millimetres, you have to find the area of the sectors in millimetres squared, but you have to give your answer in terms of pi. 
So try and do it without a calculator. If you're not sure of the fraction, remember, you always write down the angle out of 360 first. You can then simplify that fraction. Always simplify first if you're not using a calculator. Okay. Then question two, find the area of each of these sectors and you can use a calculator and give your answers to two decimal places. Pause the video here and come back and check the answers when you're done. Welcome back and here is the answers. So the first, first lot of answers is here, all left in terms of pi. So you should have got that this was a half circle, a quarter, an eighth. This one's a little bit trickier. 225 out of 360, well, you could have simplified that. 60, that's a sixth. 105 out of 360, you could have simplified, okay? And then the second set of questions, there's all your answers there to two decimal places. Now, remember with the second question, if you use pi as 3.14 instead of the pi button, your answers will be slightly less than this. Do not worry about that, it's because 3.14 is already rounded, pi is, goes on much longer than that. Okay, your last activity of today, the circle has a radius of 6 metres, and, and they're also told in the question that the area of the pink section is 6 pi, and the area of the blue section is 24 pi, 27 pi. You can work out the area of the whole circle, give it in terms of pi, would be best. Then the area of the green section, what fraction of the circle is blue, pink and green? What are the sizes of the blue, pink and green angles? So pause the video here and give that a go. It's a little bit of a puzzle, but hopefully you'll be able to work it all out and then we'll come back and I'll go through the answers. Welcome back, let's do this in turn then. Find the area of the circle, nice and easy, pi r squared. So it's pi times six squared, because it tells you in the question the radius is six. So we've got 36 pi metres squared, if you want. That's question one, nice and easy. So we know the whole thing is 36 pi. Question two then. So question two says, find the area of the green sector. Well, you should be able to do that because we know that the whole area is 36 pi. So if I take away the other two sectors, which is 27 plus six is 33. So minus 27 pi and minus 3 pi, that leaves 3 pi left. 3 pi meters squared, nice and simple. Question 3. What fraction is the blue, pink and green section? Now this is a little bit tricky to think about, but if you know the whole area and you know the area of each bit, then the fraction is just the area out of area. Because the fraction doesn't always, you can do angle over angle, area over area, length over length. That will still tell you the fraction. As long as you're comparing the same thing to the same thing, you now know your, your fraction. So let's start off with blue. The blue will be 27 pi out of the whole area 36 pi. Well, the pi's cancel. So it's just 27 out of 36. So there's our blue section. Hopefully that makes sense now that you see it. If you look at the green section, the green section is 3 pi out of 36 pi. Pi is cancel, so it's 3 out of 36, which can simplify to 1 out of 12. So the green section is just a 12. And then the last section, the pink section, we've got 6 pi out of 36 pi. Pi is cancel, so you've got 6 out of 36 which is just a sixth. Then the last question, what are the sizes of the blue, pink and green angles? Well, since we, all didn't, we now know the fractions, it's just a fraction of a full circle, which is 360. So you had to have done question three to get question four. So if we go back and look at the blue section, the blue section, I'll just do it here. We know it's 27 out of 36. Now you can simplify that. Should have simplified that a little bit divided by 9. Let's do that now and divide that by 9. It's 3, 9 fours is 36. It's 3 quarters. So it's just 3 quarters of 360. Of 
quarter of 360 is 90, 90 times 3 is 270, so we get 270 degrees. There's your blue section. Doing the same thing with the pink section. The pink section is a sixth, so it's a sixth of 360, which is just 60 degrees. Now we've only got 30 degrees left, so it should be 30 for the green section, but let's just check using our sums. It was a 12, so it's a 12 of 360. 12 into 360 is 30, 30 degrees. Checking all our answers, 30 plus 60 is 90, plus 270 is 360. This has been Claire Maths, and today we'll be looking at the area of sectors. Hopefully that was useful for you. Please remember to like and subscribe if it was, and ask questions if you're stuck, and stay safe out there. Take care, bye-bye.